Diabetes is often associated with other serious health concerns. These comorbid conditions can take the form of nerve damage, wounds that won't heal, and organ failure, just to name a few. They're also present more often than not. A recent study found that of type 2 diabetic adults, 97.5% have one or more comorbid disease and 88.5% had two or more. One comorbid condition that fewer people are familiar with is diabetic eye damage, known as retinopathy. Left untreated, this condition can progress into partial or total blindness. Can diabetic retinopathy be reversed, and how does it affect your vision and eye health long term? If you're wondering if there's hope for your diabetic vision loss, watch the video until the end. If you want to see more videos about how to reverse type 2 diabetes, please subscribe to the channel, like the video and tick the notification bell. I also have in the description my free PDF with 7 tips to make your life instantly better as a diabetic. To understand diabetic retinopathy, you first need a grasp of how diabetes affects your body as a whole. With diabetes, your body is unable to process glucose in the right way. While we're all familiar with the results of low blood sugar, high blood sugar causes problems too. Having too much glucose in your bloodstream for a long amount of time damages your muscles, tissues, and blood vessels. Some of the smallest and most delicate blood vessels in your body are in charge of supplying the backs of your eyes with oxygen and nutrients. When those blood vessels are damaged, the cells around them can start to die. The back of your eye is called the retina, and it's in charge of sending sight messages to your brain. When light enters your eye, it bounces off the retina and special light-sensitive cells relay that information through the optic nerve. If those cells start to die off, your retina can't send a clear image to your brain anymore, and this results in vision loss. You might have diabetic retinopathy for a while before you start to notice symptoms. Once they begin, though, they can progress from mild to total blindness over time. The symptoms of retinopathy often start with floaters, strings, dark spots, or blurriness in your vision. After a while, you may start to notice that you see dark or empty areas or that colors begin to fade. To make matters more confusing, your symptoms may fluctuate in severity. As the condition progresses, the symptoms will get worse. If you're dealing with blurriness and trouble focusing, your glasses may not help anymore. You may even notice the dark spots growing until they cover most or all of your sight. Because diabetes affects your body as a whole, most people will notice similar symptoms in both of their eyes at the same time. If left untreated, retinopathy can cause additional complications. These include glaucoma, hemorrhage, and retinal detachment. Diabetic retinopathy can take several different forms. Not everyone will experience it in the same way, and the type you have may change as the disease progresses. Anyone who has type 2 diabetes is at risk of diabetic retinopathy. However, if you've had diabetes for a long time or don't manage and control your blood sugar well, you're more likely to experience complications. Pregnancy, tobacco use, and high blood pressure or cholesterol also increase your risk. Modern eye surgery has come a long way in the past few decades. While there are advanced treatments available for retinopathy today, there still isn't a cure. The treatments focus on slowing or stopping the progression of the disease to preserve the vision you have left. The ability of your eye surgeon to treat retinopathy symptoms relies on two things, early detection and early intervention. If you wait until your symptoms are severe to get your eyes examined, there may not be much they can do to help. If you get regular checkups and visit any time there's a significant change in your vision, though, they may be able to stop your symptoms from getting worse. The primary treatment for retinopathy is managing your blood sugar levels. Aside from that, there are things your ophthalmologist can do to slow or stop your vision loss. Two of the most common treatments are intravitreal injections and laser surgery. The inside of the eye is filled with a gel-like fluid known as the vitreous humor. It fills up the empty space between the lens at the front of your eye and the retina at the back. To deliver medication straight to your retina, ophthalmologists will sometimes use a needle to inject it into the vitreous humor. This is known as an intravitreal injection. While the prospect of getting a shot in your eye is scary, your doctors will numb the area ahead of time. Often, patients are also given a sedative to help them stay calm during the procedure. When diabetic retinopathy gets to be severe, new blood vessels that grow can be weak and prone to bursting. To prevent that, 
as surgeons can use laser surgery to stop their growth and stabilize disease progression. The powerful light beam reaches all the way to the back of your retina, meaning this surgery doesn't require any incisions. Both intravitreal injections and laser surgery are often reserved for more advanced cases of the disease. If there's any scarring or bleeding in your eye, another surgical procedure called a vitrectomy may be necessary as well. Because there is no cure diabetic retinopathy, the best way to treat these conditions is to stay on top of your health. Taking care of yourself and following your doctor's instructions can help you prevent comorbid conditions from developing. Because there is no cure diabetic retinopathy, the best way to treat these conditions is to stay on top of your health. Taking care of yourself and following your doctor's instructions can help you prevent comorbid conditions from developing. High blood glucose, hypertension, and high ketone levels can increase your risk of retinopathy. As such, managing them is the first step in prevention. Even though it's difficult, Eating a healthy diet and exercising will go a long way toward keeping your eyes healthy in the long run. Along with diet and exercise, monitoring your blood sugar levels and taking your medication as prescribed can help as well. Finally, the importance of frequent eye exams can't be stressed enough. If you have diabetes, seeing an eye doctor every few months can help you stop retinopathy in its tracks. You should also get a thorough exam with dilation every year. Your doctor may then be able to notice and treat the damage before you experience any symptoms. Can diabetic retinopathy be reversed? No, but it doesn't have to lead to blindness, either. If you catch it early enough, you can prevent it from taking your vision. The first and most important thing you can do is to manage your blood sugar levels. The best method for this is changing your diet. Changing your diet sounds easy, but in reality it's way more complicated than you think. Eating healthy requires a lot of knowledge, experience and practice. Taking out the carbs from your diet is not enough. This is why I created a free PDF with my best tips for people with type 2 diabetes. With this guide you'll never have to worry ever again about being overwhelmed by the daily care and vigilance the disease requires. So click on the link in the description now, to get your free download. If you want to watch more videos on how to reverse type 2 diabetes, make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.